Time for an old sports adage. A wise man once told me a new coach can be a reason to expect improvement, but if he is the only reason, don't expect much. Are there any other reasons for the Leafs to be better this year? Well, I remember they tried that in uh, Colorado and it didn't work either. If you just have a coach come in, he's going to be tough, going to be tough. You don't have the guys that are to play tough, then you, you can't play tough. Uh, we have one thankful thing here in Toronto that Detroit is worse right now well, than the division they're by in. By two points at the moment. Yeah. Those old guys got to get the creaks out of their legs and they might, uh, they might get better. Well, no, let me just continue. I remember we were lost, and this is uh, my second year, and we were getting hammered like this, and we were playing just as bad. Harry Sinnott and I sat down and we said, we've got to do something. Either we trade somebody or we're gone. And I'm telling you right now, they better get some guys and make a blockbuster trade because the feeling now is the same feeling as they had last year. I know I don't want to jump on them, but I feel so bad for Danny. But you better get something with these new guys in here. Get somebody else and uh, trade something big. Is he disillusioned now? I mean, did he think that, that going in with the reputation and, and saying you must work or you'll be gone would work? Or Danny uh, is the type of guy that would go through the wall for you. I, anything. He would try, 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 try his end, and he, he is disillusioned right now. I know he's taking this personally, that he's not doing it. Jerry McNamara is the man who must make trades. Now, if you're Dan Maloney, can you go to Jerry McNamara and say, please do something to help yeah. me out? That's what you do? Yeah. What and if nothing happens? Then what do you do as a coach? Well, then if you don't do the coach, the same thing will happen to you as it happened to me in Colorado. You get fired at the end. If the team doesn't produce, you're the guy that takes it in the next. And, uh, I don't know. I, I think the kids are working as hard as they can. Uh, I have Frady's having a tough time now. A kid two years out of midget in the National Hockey League, and I don't know. I see him making mistakes. I, I'm not getting on that. But I think the kids are trying as hard as they can. You imagine if they were getting bad goaltending now? I'd be up in the teens. I would make a blockbuster trade right now, but who am I? I have Frady obviously played well in training camp. And uh, from what I saw, the Leafs in the exhibition games, they did work harder, or at least look more confident. But then they were battling for jobs. I mean, here you got basically 20 guys going out every night. Does that have something to do with it? The funny thing, everybody asks me that. They see these guys at training camp banging and smashing and everything until the last week of training camp because in the last week of training camp, they've got the team made, and then they stop. So the toughest part is making the club the first two weeks. It's not a training camp anymore. It's a tryout camp. It's tough to lose in Toronto. It's tough to lose anywhere. But... But that's something else that now Maloney has seen as an assistant coach. But when things go bad, they can go downhill in an awful hurry. And there's no better example than two overtime victories to start the season. And, I mean, people were in the hot stove lounge looking for the Stanley Cup last week to have a little drink out of it before they uh, put it away again. Now, you know what the mood's going to be like in there and everywhere else. I, I feel so sorry for him. He said last night to the reporters, uh, I surrender. And I know how he feels. I was in Colorado. You just don't know the feeling out there, folks. But listen, it's early. It's only a few games. They can turn it around. Uh, a couple of uh, lucky goals. That's what they got. They got to get some breaks. And I'm not out here in, pleading for them. They haven't been getting any in breaks. In which game? Now, two lucky goals tonight aren't going to... Well, how hard. do you go into practice tomorrow and defend against uh, uh, getting scored on your power play? It's Murphy's Law for them right now. Let's hope they turn it around. We need it. Hockey Night in Canada continues in just a moment. <laughs>